I don't want to make a big uh, story out of nothing. So uh, I guess we I guess we can allow the room to speculate, but also respectfully, don't contact them. No DMs. But there was a photo that was posted on Reddit today of Tasha attending the House of Gucci premiere without her engagement ring. Now I'm going to ask you guys right now in the live stream if you do want to call in. What are your thoughts about? Tasha Adams not having an engagement ring as she goes out on a gala. I personally don't see the engagement ring as like wear it all the time. Like, you know, you forget it. You do this, you do that. But it can also be a statement. It can also be a statement like things aren't, if things aren't going well, I'm taking it off. So what are your thoughts? Leave a voicemail, 401-213-9828. If you could call in right now, I would love to hear a short and uh, a short response to what do you think about Tasha attending a premiere? I mean, it's one thing to go get a, um, you know, uh, a sandwich at the, uh, you know, Einstein's bagels down the road and forget your ring, but it's another to like to prepare to go out to some gala and not have your ring so here she is and some people thought oh maybe it's on the other hand but you know it looks like the ring would be on this hand of course she got out of the hospital she was uh at the hospital late last week uh days after her marathon for what ended up being i believe a kidney infection and she said she needs to drink more uh, water what's this guy doing in the background the dolly he's just hanging out delivering the tea i guess that guy wants he's like hey what does a guy look like delivering tea he's just right in the back there he's got the thing he's, bring it on back we got some more tea for you never ending tea here on november 15th or 16th whatever day it is today anyway so i'd love to hear what your thoughts are i'll read some comments from people and again i don't you know We've had to deal with this uh, several times in the past where Tasha's had to address, uh, you know, I'm getting my ring, you know, Claire, I'm getting my ring resized. It's not a news story. We're fine uh, in, in that, in, in whatever the case may be. But um, there has been a little bit of drama that I haven't reported. Um, Zach sort of went. Uh, there were some threads about him endorsing. Uh, and by I do endorse, I mean liking comments, uh, tweets by uh, Dave Portnoy, uh, El Prez from Barstool, who has been under fire for uh, some articles that were written about him. Uh, m several members uh, high up in Bachelor Nation, uh, Caitlin Bristow, maybe Jason Tartik and some others, have sort of sided with Dave Portnoy, at least by liking and endorsing his tweets, saying, hey, he, he was a hit job, he, uh, he didn't do anything illegal, whatever the case may be. But obviously the people of Reddit were like, no, this is a little problematic um whether you agree or disagree it's really it's really more about like um are there too many differences in their relationship uh Tasha, someone who hasn't shared anything political uh barely you know or controversial at all not comfortable kind of doing that I, you, you guys know i've you know gently criticized her to be like you know other people have paved a way for these sort of conversations to be happening to have social uh, commentary, conversations about the con conditions that exist in our world, and you're just cashing the PPP check and not doing anything about it. But, you know, everyone's got their time and their place to decide if they're going to have a voice and a say about things. And as a, you know, guest host of the last two seasons of Bachelorette, she hasn't ruffled any feathers with anything specific. Um, so anyway, we'll uh, look right into this. Um, by the way, Olivia says, my dogs are barking like crazy because of your backing up beeping sound. I'm so sorry. So many people have said that. I thought if I did it low, do they, would, if I have it at this level, do they still bark? Uh, who knew dogs, uh, you know, what do they think? The kibble and bits truck is backing up is Jed and driving. He's not only does he do the jingles, he's also del the delivery guy. All right. So let's go to the comments. I will sort by best to see which comments are either the most controversial or the most supported. So let's sort by best here. And we'll see what people have to say about Tasha not wearing her ring. Interesting catch. I wonder if it's significant or if she just left her ring at home, getting it cleaned, etc. I can't. But how often do people get their rings cleaned? You can, you can buy for like three bucks the ring cleaning. I think you're just supposed to clean them with like warm soapy water and just gently soak them, right? I don't know. What do I know? I can't wear my rings because my hands are swollen. Could be kidney infection, medication, water retention, her needing to not wear it for a bit. That could be the case. I mean, if my partner made me run a marathon, I'd break up with him too. <laughs> she says, I'm entirely kidding. Don't at me. Uh, I don't think Zach made her run the race, but either way. Um, torn on this one. I think you don't make some kind of public hint at a breakup at a premiere by not wearing your ring. So maybe there is a legit reason you don't wear it. That may be a stretch and there could be trouble, but Tasha is a professional at social media and also knows how Bachelor Nation is about them. So it seems like she would just wear it so people didn't speculate. 
That's a good point. If there actually was a problem, you would wear the ring just so you don't have to address the problem. And chances are, most likely there isn't a problem. Um, da da do 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 Torn on this. Love, love, love for dark hair. Given that she was so severely dehydrated that she was hospitalized, the ring is probably too loose to wear for fear of losing it. Don't use common sense here. Or she was on an IV and it made her hands swell. All right, I mean, that might be the case too. I mean, look, wouldn't it be great if we could like zoom in? I need I need enough pixelization. Not Don't zoom in on that. We're going to just zoom in, zoom in on the hands and be like, are you bloated? Never did I think with my business degree that I'd be zooming in on someone's finger to be like, is she bloated? She's not wearing her ring. You know what I mean? Um, let's see what you guys are saying in the comment section. Tina in Slovakia says, so my boyfriend asked me to not wear my rings to bed and sometimes I forget to put them back. Yeah, isn't it bad? Um, I know there's like a uh, wedding ring etiquette. Let's go over here to it. Uh, wedding, let's do this. Wedding ring etiquette. Wedding ring etiquette wearing. Uh, let's see what, uh, the wedding band traditionally, oh, I don't want that. Uh, Let's see if we can pull up the rules here because I should know these things. I'll tell you what, though. I'm To be honest, um, I, I'm not looking forward to wearing a wedding ring. I don't, have a, I don't have a piece of jewelry, a tattoo, none of that. I mean, I'm sure once I get one, I'll like fid, fiddle with it or whatever. It'll be fine. Um, but I, I don't know. I just I feel like I've never, had, I've never worn one. I'm sure it'll take a little while to get used to. Should your engagement ring and wedding band match? How do you wear an engagement ring? Do you wear an engagement ring on your wedding day? When should you pick out your wedding bands? All right, these are stupid questions. Maybe I'm not going to find an answer. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Red Crew said, saw a story that he was pushing her too hard at the marathon, which I don't think is true. If we can go, let me see if my Instagram is back. If you guys are in the live stream, you know my Instagram has been down. No, it looks like my Instagram's still down. I don't know what it is. Instagram's down on my desktop, so I can't see. But he encouraged her to run. She said she was excited to run. She said she didn't blame the marathon when it came to her sickness. None of that. So I'm um, not really sure um, You know if we can properly you know, uh, see any other motivation to what, towards what might've been going on here. Uh, let's see if we have any other voicemails regarding Tasha. And if we do, let's see, I think we have a voicemail right here. Let's go to it. Hey, it's Susan from Washington again. This is just super quick. Um, this response to what you told us about that troll, and I want to see to you, and I tell you every woman in your chat. Did I already play that one? Sorry. That's an old one. Here it is. Sorry about that. Hey, it's Lucia calling from NYC about uh, Lucia not wearing her ring. Honestly, I do not wear mine very much. However, it's dependent on the person. So if in every other instance she's photographed, she's wearing it, and all of a sudden she's not, definitely a statement. But if there's other times where she hasn't worn it, then I don't really think it's a big deal. Very nice. And then Terry says she never takes hers off. Tina says, I wear three rings now. I love wearing rings, but I'm also not planning on getting married. So I'll probably never wear a wedding or engagement ring. Yeah, the engagement ring, it just seems like it could be a lot to like, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. As a as a male, as a, as a man who identifies, uh, the, the wedding band seems pretty simple. I'm sure I'll get over it in a few weeks. I'm sure I'll take a lot of pride in wearing all that jazz, whatever. Ladies are going to go, I'm going to be flashing the ring, you know, hit the like button, you know what I mean? Just bling, 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 totally. But, you know, at the same time, I don't know what kind I'll get. I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, I haven't worn rings since I uh, was in college when it used to be cool to wear rings. Uh, don't You don't want to see Ring Dave. You don't <laughs> use open beer cans with your ring. Do you guys remember that? Uh, Rain says I only take mine off to clean it. Uh, I don't think there's any other voicemails. Now's your chance to call in. Uh, so as far as the issue surrounding Tasha, it doesn't look like, and I will check this out on my instagram here but it doesn't look like she's posted anything about it let's just double check and see and i actually encourage her not to post about it it's one of those things if you feed the beast and comment on everything and i get it we're talking about it in the live stream but if you if you feed the beast and always comment about it it's almost like a control thing people are like oh you know are they in trouble and it's like you want to pressure them to respond and they're like F you, I'm not going to tell if I'm in trouble or not. So it doesn't look like, yeah, she doesn't have any posts right now since her marathon, which she says, well, guys, I did it. I'm officially a marathoner. The past weekend was probably one of my most rewarding accomplishments yet. She goes through the whole thing. Everyone says, oh, you're an inspiration. She actually had a really good time. She had a really good time. She had the support from Zach. So, I mean, far be it for me to think that their relationship is anything but fine. And until until told otherwise, that's what I'm going to assume. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think.